big shows and made retablos for our that fundraiser there. So I always admired her work and had a chance to do a studio visit with her and was really excited to see the amount of work she's been creating in the past few years. And was like, you have to do a show in Galveston. Um, Joan originally studied visual arts. She yeah. received her MFA from Otis College of Design in Los Angeles um, of art and design, but has like kind of a turn in yeah. your sort of education. Kind of involved with these. Yeah, and you'll these. probably talk about, yeah, that, talk so. about that. But again, she's been in several group exhibitions, had a solo exhibition at the Jung Center in 2015. But yeah. um, tell us about the work. And, about this work? Well, yeah. um, so I started this work in 2011. Um, it was the uh, the summer of the drought, some of you might remember, and uh, I went on hiking with my husband up in New Hampshire. I'd never been up there before, and I grew up in Houston, surrounded by concrete and, you know, the big city. So we went hiking in a forest, and I saw forest ecosystems for the first time, and it sounds kind of stupid, but I was, like, really seeing how um, the cycle of life, like for the first time in my life in my 40s. Um, at the same time, my dad had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and I went to nursing school at that time. So I began taking care of my dad and I was thinking a lot about uh, life and death. So these works, it sounds kind of morbid, but they're sort of about death and dying. Um, and before that, um, I had been doing a lot of research on my dad's side of the family because he, he had all of these really old uh, pictures from like the early 20th century, 1900s, these old black and white photos. And anyone with, you know, with, with Alzheimer's, they remember a lot about their um, really early life and their, um, and their own personal history, but not what happens immediately. So anyway, I was just kind of thinking about all of those things about how life kind of goes on through us and through our families, and, and so I just kind of, these are kind of meditation. <laughs> I don't know if any of that makes sense. I kind of believe Francis Bacon had a quote that um, if he could say in words what he painted, that he wouldn't need to paint them. Right. Way. So there's all of these different ideas that, uh, and influences that went into that. Yeah, so they're kind of about life and death and regeneration. Because you talked about in our statement, like the neurons. Yeah, the tangles. Well, they can't, you know, the tangles. The tangles. And the, yeah, the neurons. So it's kind of heavy, but. It's good. Everyone looks very depressed. No, I'll just smile I'm a lot. A high, happy <laughs> but the vignette ones are new as yeah. well. Like because if yeah. I saw the knots before, and then yeah. some of the panel works, but then taking them and making like the one in the back over there too, it's almost like a vintage photograph. And the way that you paint is pretty photographic. It's photographic. Like, but yeah. then when you look at the marks you're making up close, right. it's like, oh wait, no, this is a painting. And so then putting that like oval mat yeah. almost on it, like kind yeah. of even like plays with that push and pull between like right. realist and yeah. abstract. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of photography. Yeah. Do you work from photographs? I do, I do. Initially when I first went off to school to study art, I wanted to be a photographer and it just kind of went into drawing and painting, but it's still definitely there. I love it. Get to manipulate them a little bit more, though. It's the thing with photography. You know? Does anyone have any questions, questions for Joan? Well, the detail is so fine on these. How did you? Were you able to capture that? The detail? Mm -hmm. I just it, I work on them. Uh, it just takes a very long time. I work on them in, in different pieces and. Um, so it takes like the, the bigger ones that are about 18 by 24, it takes about two months, sometimes three months to finish one that's really, really detailed. But I just work on them. I kind of think of them as they're almost like small little abstract paintings that come together to make a realist painting, um, which is kind of interesting to me when because when I'm working on them, it's almost like working on an abstract painting and I don't really uh, see what it looks like until it's all until it's all finished. And then I go back and kind of add the, the details. So do you use a photograph as a model while you're doing that? 
Yeah, I take lots and lots of photographs, and I sort of work from from different from different photographs. Yeah, yeah, but I work on them kind of pieces. So it's, yeah. Do you use a lot of subtraction? Do you like wipe yeah, it out? Yeah, I and do. I don't use a lot of paint. I use a lot of turpentine, and um, and I use just just one one color, um, which is Van Dyke Brown, and I I. I I, I put the paint on there and I kind of move it around, mm -hmm. so it's, um, I guess it's subtractive and, yeah. yeah. You like add to that photographic quality too, the Van Dyke yeah. Brown, like the Van Dyke Brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, so it's like, again, like... Yeah, the photo. Out the back.